Good afternoon, everybody. So I figured today I'd do a quick review of this OBD2 that I got from Amazon. I'll be honest with you, I got an Amazon uh, Vine, so it came for free. I wasn't paid for it, obviously. But I figured I'd do a quick video because I, I thought it was worthy. It's a, it's a very rich uh, gadget, rich in features. So the brand is called Innova Car Scan Tech Plus. Uh... The model number is 5212, obviously OBD and OBD1. So it does a lot of things, and I'm going to try to zoom in here. Basically, it, it, it does, obviously, the oil resets, uh, SRS resets. It, it will test your battery. It will test your alternator. It does a lot, of, uh, a lot of things for your car. Actually, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's at the pro level. And uh, you, unless you're a good mechanic, you probably will never use 50-60% of the features. But uh, it's, uh, it's good to have in your house for your vehicles or any vehicle, especially when you're purchasing one, to be able to tap it in and just get the basic codes from a vehicle, I think is very helpful. And again, like it says here, you scan the app because it does come with its own app. That's another great feature because uh, when you scan things on the OBD itself, it will give you the results on your phone, on the app. So it connects between the phone and the, the OBD itself. It, connect, it will connect uh, via Bluetooth. But uh, in order to connect to the car, you definitely need the, the cord that comes with it. Uh, these are all the attachments that come for it, for different vehicles. And also one of them is for the OBD-1. Uh, up to a certain point, all uh, manufacturers were using OBD-1. Not for a very long time, for a few years, and then everybody switched over to OBD2. And I'm gonna say the last 15 to 20 years it's been all OBD2. Uh, again, let me just try to zoom in here, and these are some of the features that this uh, tool could do. And basically, over here, what it does is it tells you what features are available with which connector. This is a screenshot of the app right here. This is what it looks like. Obviously, it's available in uh, Google. Play Store and uh, Apple Store. So, and these are the connectors. So, let's move on to this the gadget itself, the OBD. Basically, you turn it on from here. Screen is very nice and bright. It's got three lights here. Uh, obviously, when it's on green, once you scan the car, that means you have no codes. When it turns yellow, hey, you have some codes which are not critical, and then red, meaning you have critical codes. We're going to try to zoom in here. This is the enter button here. This is what you're going to use the most up and down uh, to go home. You basically hit the end button. That's what they consider the home button. And uh, this is where you scan, basically. You scan the codes or erase the codes, uh, freeze frame, live data, all that stuff. Uh, I t scanned yesterday two of my vehicles, a Lexus and a Mazda. And uh, it does a great job. Uh, let me see. Just to give you an idea. That's what I got scanned for. And obviously it gave me a bunch of codes for the vehicle. And uh, you could just, you know, scroll. And on this case, in, as on the ABS, I had AD, 8 DTC codes, basically. And when you enter, it gives you the codes right there. So you can scroll up and down. To go back, you hit the home button here. And it brings you back. So some of the options here you have is the vehicle information. DLC locator, battery alternator test. That's another thing I tested yesterday. The alternator was okay, but the battery it told me it's weak, which I wasn't aware. So I'm probably going to be looking to replace the, the battery soon. Drive cycle procedures, service uh, resets. This is where I was referring to at the beginnings. With the most modern vehicles, you get these uh, service uh, reminders. Once you've done that, remind. Once you've done that service, you could just go in here for your vehicle and reset oil, reset uh, whatever other services that the vehicle has. Uh, firmware version, tool library, and tool settings. You could set up the settings and for the tool like matrix, standard, all that other stuff. Uh, I, listen, I could do a video here for an hour at least to go through all these options, but I just wanted to say that it's. Pretty nice. I like this. I have another one that's very high end, the big tablet ones, and those are great, obviously. But uh, you know, they're not 
they're not easy to, to move around. Unless you're working in your own garage, that would be great. But this is on the go. These things are great. Uh, try to get back home here and see some of the things. But uh, this is very good, like I said, you know. And obviously when you turn it off, you just basically hold the button here and it will power off. Comes with this pouch, which is great. And uh, within the pouch are all the connectors. And I'll take them out right now one by one. All the various connectors that come with it. Pretty much, you're good to go with this. Pretty much for every vehicle there is out there. You got all the connectors. And definitely in the database, I checked all the vehicles, or majority of the vehicles. I can't claim that it's all the vehicles, but a lot of them. Obviously, there's a lot of manufacturers, models, and types. So I didn't go through all of them, but it's very, very rich. So these are all the connectors that come with it. I like that it comes with this pouch. You could put all the connectors there. The only downside is the pouch is not big enough to put the connectors and the OBD itself. So unfortunately, once you stuff it in, stuff it with the connectors, then you can't really fit the OBD and all these wires. So that's the downside on it, but definitely a good idea to have the pouch. Again, this is uh, it's called Innova. The model number is 5212. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was a little helpful. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and all the other good stuff that YouTube offers. Thank you.